All right, welcome back in. So, storage. I heard you like storage. So I made storage in the storage for your storage. This is the Tayo storage one by one, and I put a bunch of storage in the storage because I wanted to have a lot of storage. All right, joking aside, I did this to prove a point that you can, it, using the one by ones, and now, uh, in my opinion, the military crate is the most superior uh, by volume because it holds 150 just like all the rest of them do but it has the smallest cubic volume that it takes up and you can see I've got a lot in here this is 3,700 cargo in a one by one and it doesn't even look full it looks actually fairly like what you would expect to see in a space like this uh, I've even got a 10 ammo I've got some uh uh, dollies that look like they're doing a little bit of work. I mean, it, the space looks appropriate. That's actually not why I built this. I built this to test something. So, I had a question. And they wanted to know if I am going to build something. I'm going to put it in the right mode. Uh, let's go here and let's get some kind of a storage. So, let's move over here and we'll grab the storage I was doing. This guy right here. Do you see on the left, top side, it says aluminum and structural. The aluminum I have in my ship, I will show you that it's not in my bag. And the structural I have in my bag, and I'll show you that. And then we're going to try something. They wanted to know if they put items in all this massive amount of storage. I mean, people are going to end up having like a million storage in their ship. I, I can already see it happening. Will they be able to build with it? So, this is good in as box as any. Let's try this. So, if I go over here, go to my inventory resources. I have the structural material right there. I'm going to stick it all. Boom. So, I have no more resources on my person. And if I pull... Buttons. Need to learn buttons. If I pull this up, you can see structural is missing. It does not, unfortunately at this time on beta, does not count these containers as functional storage. In my opinion, it should count all the containers, but it should also count if you're at your outpost, which I am, it should count that as well. You know, I digress. At least we have this feature now. Hopefully Bethesda will fix it in the future. I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, but I want to try a little further. I want to try this science crate as well. I don't know why. I just think, I don't know, it's a science crate. This is science-y type material. Maybe that will make a difference. It probably won't. But we're going to try it anyway. Same thing. So, structural uh, is not in my bag, it's not in my ship, it's in that crate, that uh, hexagonal atom looking crate there, and it doesn't work. So that's also unfortunate. Now we're going to do another test. We are going to go outside, and we're going to find out if Cora hey, doesn't stick me in the hallway. Which I'm going this way. We're going to find out if, I, this is another question, can we paint our ship and will that cause problems? That's one of the things I didn't test. I did all kinds of other tests in the other test video. I didn't try painting my ship. So, I, it was painted. I just didn't try it for what we did. So, this guy right here is the one that I changed to the workshop. There's the cinema. There's the single bedroom with double bunks in the bath. And there's the double bedroom. So, let's, let's just paint some. See what happens. We want this to be all red because we like red today. For some reason, we just decide we want a cherry red ship. So we're going to make it. All right. Nice red ship. So that's good. We like that. Uh, let's do another one just in case because that one's a Tayo. Let's do a Nova. I don't know why. I don't know why it would make any difference. But uh, maybe. Let's go with some kind of a blue color. That's actually kind of cool with that black there. But we'll do it that. So, there we go. Now we have two completely painted, different from what they were. We already know there was things in them, so let's go check. See if it messed it up. Uh, I never had that problem before with the old Habs, where if I painted it would mess up. But, however, I did have the problem every time I changed my ship. Uh, every time I did anything else, it would nuke everything and put it all back in my cargo hold. Alright. So now I just got to remember everything I put in here before. I would say this one's a success. Okay, so let's check the other side. <laughs> the way the door comes up is kind of funny. I'm going to call that a success. It. What you doing, Sarah? 
All right. She's just chilling. So, yep, success. It didn't move anything. So the next last thing I'm going to show you today is what the rug glitch is. Now, it does not work as good as it did in Fallout 4. It only works a little bit, but that little bit might be what you need in order to finish the project you're trying to do. So let's come over here. We're going to go to this couch, right? I got this couch, and I'm going to put this couch as close to this wall as I can get it, which is about right there. And you're going to notice it's nice. It's pretty close, but it is not all the way against that. And I don't know why, but maybe for some reason I want that all the way seated. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Let's go over to decorations. We're going to drop down to f to pass my did. So, the one thing you need to know about the rug glitch is once you place items on the rug and you move the rug, everything that's on the rug is moving with the rug as its one unit. But you can't delete the rug like you could in Fallout 4. At least, best I could remember, you could delete the rug. I mean, there's even videos I'm showing that you could delete the rug. You cannot do that here. It won't let you delete it. Yeah, that's a nice pattern. We'll just deal with that. So we're going to put it kind of, not perfect, but kind of just enough, right? So we're going to stick that right there. Then we're going to go back over here. We're going to go to the couch again. I'll make sure this is as straight as I can get it. That's not too shabby. And we want it kind of, meh. I, I like that. I think that'll work. I don't know why I closed out of that. So we're going to go in here, we're going to go to the move. So now you'll notice, if I pick that up, I can pick that up. If I pick this up, I can pick the couch up. But if I pick this up, I pick everything up. So I'm going to move it over here so it's not in our way, because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Now I've got this, and I'm moving it as one unit. And if I get close to this wall, it still, it still goes red, but you'll see when I place it, it actually is literally touching the wall. It's glitched just a hair. And if you're passing by, you're not going to notice that tiny bit that it's glitching. Okay, yes, some of you with OCD might actually notice. But this gives you options that you don't normally have because, for example, bulkheads. When you try to place furniture here, because of the way this angles down, if the model, so the 3D asset of this, if the collision extends up higher than what you see, like you would think the collision would stop right there at the top of the cushion. Maybe it doesn't. It might go up clear to your chest height for all you know. And you go to place that here, and since chest height's clear up here, it doesn't let you get all the way back because the bulkhead's in the way. With the rug, you might actually be able to do that. In fact, let's try that right now. I want to see how close we can get what so that is a problem when you are using f and then go to r to decorate if you're looking at an item it won't go into the mode so just be aware of that all right so we're gonna turn this turn it the right way it's still hard to get perfect even though i changed the slider but it's better all right so we'll come over here it actually lets me go all the way in that that spot Aha, but there's a problem. Okay. Alright, so let's see how close this allowed me to get. Alright, so as expected, it only allowed me to get right to the base of that. Um, I don't know, the little member that sticks down. So if we move that and then try it with the rug glitch, how close can we get then? Turn, turn, turn. That looks about right. So let's go back here. Is this tree? Nah, not quite. Eh, who cares? Let's try it. Alright, so now let's see how close it let us get that time. Nah, that was the same on that one. So on this wall, it allowed us to get just a tiny bit closer. Here, it didn't allow us to do anything. So the, the rug glitch is not as good as it is in Fallout 4. You can't create a demon Frankenstein couch out of 17 couches and and benches and all kinds of stuff like like weird things you could do in Fallout but it does give you that extra little bit if you just need that tiny bit of extra space you might be able to get it with the rug glitch all right thanks for watching guys